Hello there, uh, this is Akumaru, a.k.a. Coral Base, a.k.a. whatever else people want to call me. Um, it is 12.13 a.m. on Friday, February 22nd. Um, and I'm really, really bored. Um, I have what's called insomnia, which is this nifty little, uh, well, I call it a disease, but it's a mental thing where your brain goes all blah, and you can't sleep. Um, so my brain is just overactive. I can be as tired as tired, but, uh, not be able to sleep. Um, so what I thought I'd do is maybe, um, do a slight, a slight demonstration of, uh, well, sort of a proof type thing that the voices that I do, um, it's not like edited. It's me just being me and crazy and all that fun stuff. So... <laughs> Um, this is, of course, my normal voice, and, um, then there's my British voice, which, um, you know, a lot of people can do. It's not really all that surprising. Uh, it's probably one of the first things you learn as a theatre student. I better take these off, because there's a bit of a glare. But, um, it's probably one of the first things you learn as a theatre student, or one of the first accents you learn, because, quite frankly, it's, it's, well, it's easy to do. It's not... I don't find it putting any strain on my uh, throat, on my lips, on my tongue, on any part of my body really. Um, it's just talking. Um, don't really know what the difference is. It's sometimes actually a lot more comfortable for me to talk like this than it is for me to talk like this because uh, sometimes I don't like sounding American because I'm weird like that. Hey. Anyway, um, there's other voices I can do. Um, let's see, what one should I... There was one I learned today. Let's see if I can remember what it was. Well, I mean, I can keep trying, but I don't think the voice is going to come out, man. It's just like, what's going on? Doesn't anybody take me seriously? Um, and then of course there's the deep, dark voices. The voices that sound like a creepy sex fiend who's about to violate you in your sleep. But enough about Alucard. Um, <laughs> oh, just got sued by all the Crispin Freeman fangirls. Uh, Crispin Freeman, by the way, is one of my all-time favorite voice actors. Uh, I wish they would let him do stuff other than that deep, raspy, sexy voice thing. He's got a tremendous range and they really underuse him, or rather overuse him in that same area too much. Um, anyway, I don't have much else to say. Um, I can do my Indian accent. It's a very stereotypical accent and it sounds a bit like Apu from The Simpsons, but uh, that's kind of where I've learned it. I had an Indian teacher for my English class in the 12th grade. Um, she didn't talk anything like this. In fact, she sounded a lot more British, but I think that had to do with the schooling that she had. So it was slightly different and you can't exactly compare it to the stereotypical Indian accent that I am doing now. And I do of course mean Indian with the dot, not Indian with the feather. Because if I were talking about an Indian with the feather, I would be a little bit more PC and I would call him a Native American. But I do not, so I was not talking about that. I'm talking about an Indian from India. But it is hot. Like a cow on fire. And, um, I really don't know what else to say. So, with that, I'm going to bid everyone a good night. And I'll hope you have pleasant dreams. Because if you don't have pleasant dreams, you will not be able to have the exciting time that I have. And my ego voice is not working because I have to get loud. And it's too late in the day for me to get loud. Anyway, um, this is Aku, aka Coral Base, signing off, reminding you to feel the music in the step. <laughs>